test. Testing. Yeah, yeah. You guys hear me? Hey, yo, Frith, what's good? They all right. WHS Pojo. Let's get it. We got the whole family in here. Cooking some weird shit over here at the moment. I don't know where where exactly I'm going with it, but I'm just trying to get back in the habit of just like cooking hella tunes frequently. And also the stream is actually working now. Like we can go to like any camera and it's like in sync and shit which is just crazy like you all that have been watching from the from the sort of beginning where we were figuring all this shit out it's like you know what the fuck we went through also thank you man yeah we just started cooking this today during the uh, earlier stream try and like find a way to uh make a little like yeah dude kaidi tatham man he's <coughs> kaidi's the homie man he's fucking amazing really really dope he's got this record called i think it's uh extrovert city or introvert city i can't recall exactly but it's fucking really 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 dope I think low key I was channeling Kaidi on this bass line for real. Kind of on this entire track, maybe, fuck. <laughs> These as well. These videos. I think I just became like an affiliate on Twitch today, which is cool. I just have to like fill out some things like later tonight or tomorrow. And then we can start doing like subscriptions and all sorts of cool shit. We can start figuring out some stuff we can do. Hey, thank you there, alright. Well, yeah, I want to say that uh, definitely you guys. You guys are the reason that that, that happened so quickly, man. So you guys have just been, like, supporting from the get-go, man. Every time I come on here at night, it's like, y'all are, y'all are, uh, yo, HYC. Yo, much love for the follow. Appreciate that. All right, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to look at getting a little, uh, mic stand tomorrow I think oh shit Phil Keys hey thank you for the follow man you, you guys should now be able to hear this again this capture card sometimes glitches out a little bit but it just kind of glitches out for maybe like 2-3 seconds and then it goes back to being like good Found this like little conga patch. I literally, I literally never, ever, ever use congas in anything, and I feel like, I feel like, when you really listen to a lot of, like, cool shit, sometimes in the grooves, like, there really is, like, a conga or, like, a bongo or something underneath that shit. 
kind of like keeping it cool. Not all the time, but like sometimes. Some shit like this. Hell yeah. So there's this, uh, there's this super sweet clap sound. So pretty much all the drums in this so far is all just addictive drums. Like, yo, just to show you how crazy addictive drums is, right? It's like... Like, there's all this crazy... Ooh, that actually sounds crazy, like... I think I I think I want just this kick and this uh and this hold up give me two seconds guys this is cool Kinda like almost on some housey shit. It's like maybe we put some little like housey like vocal drops or some shit in there. edit some of these kicks like take a few of the doubles out for a bit Dude, some sax would be crazy on this. Might even try and like chop a little sax sample or some shit. <coughs> XLN Audio, the guys that do addictive drums, they also do this shit called like addictive keys, which is crazy. I'll probably pull that off in a little bit. Uh, they 
also do the RC20, which is really crazy. The XLN audio pretty much like kills some like major shit. That was kind of cool. Let's see if we can hear that back. Oh yeah, also, uh, sorry. Uh, big shout out to Dvoov and who is Olive. Much, much love for the followers. Yo, sorry guys, um, yeah, the snare is from Addictive, like pretty much everything's from Addictive, I'll break it down and show you the, uh, the kit, and yeah, uh, yeah, we played, <clears throat> I pretty much just played like a loop, and then, uh, just literally like a one or two bar loop, and then just, um, use that as like the bass for this, yeah, I'll show you the kit. love for the follow you yeah. yeah this kit is actually pretty fun man so the idea is that like you can you have just like so many different types of drums that you can choose from like different hats different snares like you've got pretty much like everything in here oh yeah peace out Frith yo thank you for tuning in brother um, yeah, like, you pretty much just have all sorts of options. Just, I'll just, like, show you some shit. I was just kind of fucking around with it like that or whatever and then just found like a loop that felt cool but yeah I'll, I'll go into some like really in-depth shit that you can do with this addictive drums <coughs> as well like in a little bit but like there's just so many good options with this shit dude like it's really fucking nice I mean so as far as which kit I like to use I don't really use the kits that come with it so like I'll just usually open one and then just like <coughs> like tweak it so say like the kick here I just, I just want to just like save this uh, just in case I fuck something up here <laughs> 
Better be safe than sorry. Uh, so, pretty much, you know, once you have a kit, you just, you can just change the individual piece here. So, like, I'll just cycle through some snares. Fuck, that's really, really nice too. So I actually have to save this kit also. <coughs> um, but yeah, you get the idea. Like, it's the same with all the hats and the kicks. Like, there's just so fucking many options you can have. Oh yeah, sorry. They all right. <clears throat> um, do you route the sounds out of eight addictive drums too and process them separately? Nah, to be honest, man. Like, so a lot of the time, I I just like to use the processing within the addictive drums. So like, check it out, right? It's like you've pretty much got. If I just solo the drums for a minute. So on this master section, you've kind of got like compression and distortion, EQ, tape saturation, and like more distortion and noise, and then like a filter. So you kind of have you kind of have a lot of the shit you need. You know what I mean? But like, peep this shit. Like it really sounds pretty dull and like shitty without this stuff on it. Kind of like real drums when you do record them a lot of the time, you know? But then you just... And this shit just sounds fucking crunchy as fuck straight out of the box. Try and get like a little go-go bell or some shit like that. Uh, let's see. Have we got some go-go bells? See, also it has a whole fuckload of, um, you know, percussion and shit too. have more cowbell.
Yo, shout outs, uh, PBL, what's good? Thank you for tuning in, man. Yeah, we got 13 viewers right now, that's, that's fucking dope. Where y'all tuning in from, man? Where y'all at? It's so funny, like, I don't take for privilege the fact that, like, this stream is just running smoothly right now. Like, we were, me and just, like, a few of the people that were, like, tuning in here for the last week and a half, I've just been, like, going to stores to, like, buy, like, gear and shit. <laughs> and then that gear doesn't work, then you gotta take it back to the store. You know what I mean? AOPBL, thank you for the follow. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah, Bulgaria. Shout outs, Bulgaria. Echo for Bulgaria. Yo, Slows Beat was good. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, France. Look at the echo for France. Jeez. Yo, Denmark, that's fucking dope. Yo, my last name is Danish, man. I really, really want to, like, go to Denmark sometime soon. When this COVID shit's done. The 1010 black box, I can't say I have. What is that? Shout out to Paris. And thank you for the kind words. Appreciate you all a lot. Dude, no, that sounds your D D Vouve. A USB powered portable door. God damn. I need to be peeping this shit, man. Yo, my last name is, is Bidstrup, so it's like, it's like B-I-D-S-T-R-U-P. It's on some Danish shit, some like Bornholm Island shit. But to be fair, like most of my ancestors for like the last like few lifetimes have all been just like in Australia, but it's like Danish heritage though, you know what I mean? That shit sounds crazy though. I wanna I wanna start like a Discord, maybe like not tonight because it's kinda late-ish. And like I'm trying to I'm trying to stick to more like daytime streams. So I'm not like tempted to just be like up super late, you know what I mean? But uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little Discord happening and we can all like I can have like a nice little spot so we can all just like share cool shit and fucking we can all level up together, you know what I mean?
my bad. I just realized I was searching for the cowbell in all the wrong places. There we go. All right, that's what it sounds like <laughs> when when you put like a crash <laughs> when it's meant to be a cowbell. But what the fuck is happening with that? Where's it? Where's this crash coming from, man? Yeah, those are now crashes, so let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. That's a bit more vibey. actually make like some posts soon like sort of promoting these streams as well so it's not just kind of like you know what I mean so we got some like extra like push from different directions and stuff but I think like today is really the first time that I've done a stream and had the webcams like stay working and all the audio work and all that sort of shit so I'm really just um Hey, Adam Trout, thank you for the follow. I'm really, at this point, um, just making sure that things don't glitch. I mean, so far, it hasn't today. So I guess tomorrow is kind of when I can start, like, promoting some shit. I just didn't really want to promote things when the hardware was all janky, you know what I mean? cool thing so this omnisphere patch right check this shit this omnisphere patch is literally the sound of take six so like if you wanted to sample some take six like harmonies and shit like really you can just play them yourself you know what I mean like butter what's good man how you feeling yeah oh yeah the glide dude yeah the glide this is where shit gets crazy <sighs> Yeah. 
Oh man, that's so nasty. <laughs> Dude, do some crazy, like, real out there, long glide. Ooh. Come on, that felt kind of cool. Um, oh, dude, no stress, man. Hey, thank you for, for just, like, popping in anyway, man. It's all love. So like I um I haven't actually met JD Beck like in person. We've spoken on, you know, just like like Instagram and, and shit, but I never really got to get in the room with him. Um but he's fucking crazy, like, you know. Musically, his his shit is just like wild. In fact, like like I try and like learn like the kind of shit, like trying to understand like how he thinks about grooves and like the the sort of little uh, I don't even know, man. It's hard really to explain. That that fool's really on another level with his shit. Like, it, sometimes it sounds like it's just kind of over the top, like, just sh fucking jazz, like, mishmash. But then, like, if you're really, like, in the mood to, like, hear some crazy shit, like, it's worth it if you can, like, process what the fuck's happening. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, that, that would be a sweet rise effect for sure. You know what, I think I'm going to go to Moog Camp for a minute. Alright, check this shit, yeah. I'm going to see if there's something vibey in here. I was pressing record on that. That was like fucking like six cop cars driving past the house, man. That was fucking nuts. I don't know if y'all could hear it. to the uh, young Moog McGee.
saying can you hook up the phase to the master of Cubase or any track for that matter um, so the phase is really more the uh, component which just like tells Serato like where the turntable is so I mean the the mixer like the rain 70 you can have like used as the Cubase <coughs> you can use it as the Cubase like audio card if that makes sense so like you can use the mic ends and all that shit and kind of send each thing to each thing but I mean I'm just trying to see maybe maybe this maybe this will explain it like in a cooler way so there is something you can do with this which is fucking cool. Which is, if I open up Serato DJ Pro. Whoa. You fucking hear that shit? <laughs> <laughs> this, the streets are crazy right now, man. <laughs> fucking loud ass cars and shit. Um, uh, what was the thing we were doing? Oh yeah, that's right. So if I go up here to press record and then I just go record. One thing you can do, which is sick, is if I just press play on here now. Over a second, but check this out. If I press play. We'll just do that for example, right? And then if I go back to Serato and I stop the recording, save it as, oh, I don't know if I saved. Like I think it's saved, but I just need to know. Let's see, is this the one? It's not that. Might have saved it as like this. No. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot to save like the file name for it. Oh, this is the beat we did on the earlier Twitch though. It's almost kind of fun. Oh, okay, I think it's this. <laughs> Fucked up for a second, but check this out. If I press play. Okay, cool, yeah. Oop, this shit, oop, this shit, oop, this shit. Fucked up for a second. <laughs> Here we go. So, like, that's now being sent to to Serato and if this is working then you should be able to scratch that too
You know what this also means is that like now you can use like the the turntable speed adjustment and shit like that and like hear a song you literally just made as if it was already pressed to vinyl. second but check this out this shit fucked (laughs) it's like you can sample your own like speaking and shit you know what I mean You can really get lost in the sauce with that, but it's pretty fun. Something else that's kind of fun with this is you're able to uh, <coughs> pretty much, let's see if I'm bringing it back over here a bit. You can set it up kind of like a pitch sampler as well. So like, check this shit. So that's low key pretty fucking dope and I actually want to record that back into this for a second. So let's fucking do that. Um see what it's like if you do it in internal mode so it's more like uh, 
It's either that or while it's playing. Maybe while it's playing is cooler. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Got to press record, hey. That's weird, that didn't record. Let me see what the fuck's going on. Uh, oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's because this shit needs to be changed to that shit, and this shit needs to be changed to that shit, and then everything works because it's all labeled. Deck 2, that's exactly what I want, man. Let's try this one more time. able to change pitch and have different cue points sadly uh, i don't think so but yeah that would be a really amazing thing to be able to do like i mean actually you can if you're like using i think like if you're using serato pro serato dj pro like you can do that sort of shit but there's nothing like sort of easily mapped for it on this mixer maybe you can Maybe there's a way to like map it out so it's sort of easier like that. But that would be a fucking dope idea, dude. I really like that. Thank you. 
dude. That would actually be pretty dope. There's, that's the thing, man. There's so many, like, cool opportunities to use, like, pre-existing gear. probably just fucked up the audio should be back now but yeah no that that's a good idea man i'm i'm low-key gonna start looking into that just any kind of additional stuff to like just further tweak what this serato dj does because there's some there's some opportunities there man actually like 100% <clears throat> sure what I'm doing with this track, but I'm kind of fucking with it. It's like weird. It's like slightly more housey than I usually go, but like for this second little section, but let's kind of roll with it for a second. Yeah, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to um, try and use this little chord thing that <coughs> the Cubase has. So it's like a MIDI insert. You go quarter, yeah. So then I should be able to say learn. That shit, that wasn't, that wasn't it.
filter that shit way the fuck down. automating the mix of this reverb a bit. I'm actually not liking like exposing that top end of this sound. I don't know about that. I think we call it a, <coughs> like introduce another sound with some like cool top end, like a little arpeggio or something. Thank you. 
sound dope with like a pitch rise on the sound chords yeah dude yeah you feel me man so actually you know what this gives me a chance to use this plugin right so <laughs> yeah the car outside man so we live like right on like a rent pretty main road so you just hear like all sorts of fucking cars and shit but yeah i want to show you guys this plugin man this shit is so funny. So like you're talking about making like a rise situation here. You just literally go. We could maybe do like, I'm just gonna put on the master for shits and giggles, fuck it. Have you guys heard of the endless smile? Check this shit out. So you've just got a few different settings. But I'm gonna go with this crazy one. Yeah, motherfucker. So like it has all sorts of different <laughs> like types of like basic like I guess like rise effects, but it does it in a particularly nice way. Like shit that would usually take you like three or four processes. You know what I mean? I'll show you some different ones too. It's just so fucking easy, dude. I love it. Some of them go with like delay and shit. fucking extreme. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like, I mean, fuck it. Maybe like one of the less intense ones or something for this part, for the first one. I mean, fuck it, maybe that's maybe just that's like the like one. one. Looks like that one always feels really good and just, fuck it, I'm just using it, man. sample that comes in here too. for sure the houseiest sounding thing I've done for like a little while man I was just doing that with some weird shit. <laughs> Uh, 
Pegs 11, what's good, man? How we doing? We're making some, we're making some borderline, sort of semi housey sort of shit, semi jazzy shit, semi I don't know what the fuck it is shit. Also, thank you all to the 14 viewers we got right now, man. That's that's love. I actually just found out today that, um, so like now I'm an affiliate of Twitch, so pretty much we can, um, I will, once I've filled out some paperwork or some shit, and then once you do that, or like agree to some shit, then yeah, we can start like doing subscriptions, and like I can start like making some like really dope shit like for the subscribers and whatever, you know, like make some, make something really special with this. trying to think of like if there's some sort of good groove that could like kind of come out of this one you know what i mean like because when you just go back to this groove i mean maybe maybe we can try just the kick or something True, actually, maybe a halftime thing could be kind of crazy. Alright, let's see. Fucking trip shit, but that's run it. hear how that sounds so many cop cars man fucking hell and another one shit dude Ha 
that's low key pretty dope. If I add some more like crazy bass or something, like some bottom man. Hernan one seven three six four. Much love for the follow. Deeply appreciate that. back in a minute.
back. Yeah, it was good. We're back, we're back. Much love to the <clears throat> to the 12 viewers watching. Big love to y'all. Staying tuned in. Also, for all of you guys watching, if there's any, like, specific part of this which you, like, want broken down further or anything like that, you know what I mean? Just, like, uh, just, yeah, please put it in the comments and, uh, you know, I'll get to it. I'm actually gonna put like a real kick or like not a real kick but like like a uh, I guess a sampled kick um, to just see if we can get this to smack a little bit harder maybe this guy changing key from B minor in the drop to be fair I actually don't fully know um because I don't really know much about music theory I, I'm actually learning more about music theory and what I'm playing by doing this this stream oh wait what wait a minute this this uh camera is out of sync I think oh wait no there we go it's rocking um, but yeah, if you know, I mean, let me know, man. <laughs>
That's good, man. Thank you, bro. I'm actually gonna try because I played this sampled bit like not to a click or like I did it like freehand so maybe maybe um making these kicks like not perfectly on might make it feel a little cooler too. Yeah, now that loop is at least um, not like 100% to a grid, so it will have just like a little bit of humanness to it. I think we 
really want to I think we really want to get like a synth chord in here too oh yeah I see what he's saying like some like little lagged sort of like stank kicks That's some that's some weird shit to play, <laughs> but it's it's funny because it's actually just like literally all the same chord. But like that's what some of that really old like house, you know, like the '90s house and all that sort of shit, like thrived and all that. And actually, a lot of the deep house and shit now as well. Thank you. 
So I'm going to separate this bass part of the sample out of this part. And I'm going to put my own bass, bass sound in there. That shit sounds pretty crazy. just kind of want to get <clears throat> I want to get one take from the top there so that so that it has that like human feel to it you know what i mean Mr. Flans, yeah boy, much love for the follow. Appreciate you, man. Just fucking around with some weird shit. I haven't made beats in a, in a minute, so I was just coming back and just doing some weird shit, you know? Exploring some things.
really enjoying having this uh, this Rain 70 mixer as like my audio interface too. This means you can scratch directly into Cubase and then also record whatever Cubase is doing and then scratch it. It's fucking crazy. there's some sort of weird fucked up like melody that could go over that second section like something like simple but uh, I don't know let's see So the, the the time signature is just like four four still. It's just like a really weird syncopation where like 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 uh, you know you'd still count it as like check this shit. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that when you get up here. I think it's still just like 4th 4, but it's just like, I think it's just like a bit cooked, you know what I mean? some weird shit to do here but it feels like the the chords need to get bigger there like this towel needs to like open up or something It might even, it might even, it might even start like with it filtered up like that. Like, might just be some like crazy fucking in your face shit.
like, that shit sounds crazy. So I just side-chained that synth to the kick. Yo, much love to Blossy Music. Hey, man, we'll be back, man. We're going to be on this Twitch for a bit now. And yo, Devo, definitely, that's the vibe. I'm going to have to, like, cut some little tiny bits in there to, like, make it sort of interesting and, like, catchy and shit. We're just getting the right, like, basic part of it down. Then we can, like, subtract from that shit. Yo, Telenapa, much love for the follow. So pretty much for the last week and a half, um, hey yo, a lot 85 was good. How you feeling, man? Uh, Telling Napa. So yeah, last week and a half, <clears throat> we've just been like on here, like testing out like hardware and shit, and seeing if we can get shit working and whatever. But like now it feels like everything's working. The, the cameras are working. Everything's sweet. So I'm about to be on here a fuckload, man, so. Because this is also, like, helping push me to want to make more music. <laughs> you know what I mean? This shit's fun. Hey, thank you for the follow, brother. Oh shit, okay, we need some echo on this shit. Hundreds follower, man. Big love for that hundredth follower, man. That's a big old vibe. That's a big old vibe. That's a big fucking vibe. Stones McGee, man. Let's go.
Yeah, so now, yeah, this is like, this is going to be like a hundredth, hundredth follower jam. You know what I mean? I'm going to see if I can modulate the bass for this second part and just make it really fucked <laughs> and just hear like how it sounds. There we go. Yo, big shouts to Tyler Huey. Hu Tyler Huey, much love, man. That's, that's a little too much. Let's see what we can do with this. good man <laughs> making some fucking some weird shit here Catch you when you get back, man. I'll be chilling for another maybe half hour or something, then I'm probably gonna hit the sack. And yeah, I pretty much always use Cubase, man. Like, <clears throat> I used Logic for a little bit back in the day, and a bit of Reason. And, uh, but then, like, Cubase just ended up being the, the fucking one, man. Like, it just works, kind of does what you want it to do. There's a few functions in it that I haven't seen in other doors and stuff, you know. Which I'll end up showing you guys on these streams, no doubt.
some squiff drum fills, man. Hey, you know what it, you know what it is, man. Actually, that's a very good point. Ooh, I forgot about that that little vocal sound. This shit is getting like super dark, man. <laughs> this kind of a vibe though. Yo, is that better, you guys?
Shout out Sloma. What's good? Thank you for the follow.
Oh yeah. Yeah, we're back. Shout out to the 12 viewers right now. Big love to you. Hopefully you're vibing these tunes. We never know how it's gonna go with these with these streams, man. Sometimes it'll be fire, sometimes it'll be whack. But this one, this one's feeling kinda good. Might even go like double time for this like second part or some shit and just go like super fast. Oh, uh, what synth are you using for the synth arpeggio? So the arpeggio here is um, a Nexus. Check it out. And it's just basically like a sine wave. Oh wait, my bad. <coughs> There we go. Now I can actually see it. So pretty much it's just like... Like if I play a chord, it'll just... Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, fuck, maybe might even try like a really fast one or something. My, my bad guys, I had this shit turned all the way down. One second. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo, yeah, shouts to Vu, man. Much love for, for hanging with us and chilling. See you all in the next one. So it's like it's such a it's such a subtle layer, but like it definitely adds like a little something something. Let's see if there's some sort of melody we can do here. Like there's some sort of like little melody thing perhaps or something to help like expand that a bit. Actually, you know what could probably work cool is um, some MKS like, check this shit, this sound. It's like the full on like gospel sound, MKS 20. Not that sound specifically. It's I 
Oh, wait, no, it's MKS80 here. It's this one. try and make it go to this like crazy suspended thing when it's doing this shit. All right, check this shit. Actually, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing here, but like, we'll see. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm going to get like a little, either like a mic that sits on the table or like maybe some sort of like headset thing. I don't want to like look like a fucking, I don't know if it's going to be like weird with a headset or something, but you know what I mean? Like, because I feel like there's a whole lot more I could be like talking about while I'm doing this. Because like I know <clears throat> just watching someone make a beat without them actually saying anything about it can be like pretty fucking boring sometimes unless you're fucking with the tune but whatever but like you know uh hey hamza musics what's good when are you releasing this i don't know man i mean i literally just started this today so like you know i want to get into a habit of um doing some singles though like soon so it's just like if i make some shit like this just like actually put it up on spotify like the next week or whatever so we'll see man if this turns out cool we'll drop it man the addictive drums like that snare man addictive drums is the shit Yeah, the the Dovster, the Dovster. Yeah, much love. Thank you for the follow. And it has the music. Much love. Thank you. So I might, just for the sound of it, I might actually use the uh, auto chord 
So like I saved a chord earlier, which is just like this. And what's cool about it is like, uh, what door is that M80? Nah, this, uh, yeah, this is Cubase. This little guy here is just like a little inbuilt Cubase thing. This is a Cubase Pro 10.5. So like I'm trying to just like <clears throat> figure out what the right pocket for that for this hi hat is.
think that last bit there, I think that was the pocket. you guys i just realized it's like 2 a.m right now i'm gonna actually dip for a bit get some rest and uh I'll be back tomorrow <clears throat> tomorrow afternoon sydney time yo thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging with us vibing with us y'all are the uh real mvps got affiliated on uh, Twitch today actually so pretty soon we'll be able to do some subscriber stuff have some like extra benefits and make some really cool shit happen but yeah for now you know much love to you guys and thanks again for hanging with us